So in this session we're going to look at calibration of printers. The purpose of this is to get a profile, which is a description file, for how a particular printer with particular types of stock, i.e. the paper, and particular ink, will print out. Such that you can soft-proof that, you can use it to actually check beforehand how things will look. Now this soft-proofing stage is something that a lot of people miss out on. They may work with print companies that actually have profiles for their output devices, so they can theoretically see how things are going to come out, but they forget to soft-proof. So we'll have a look at that in particular. But we're going to be thinking about you profiling your own printer. So for that, what you need is a device like the Spider Print here. Um, this comes with software, Mac or PC, which allows you to print out color charts. And these have a range of different complexities, but allow you basically to run the, the device, it reads the colors, and it builds up this fingerprint, this profile of how this device actually prints out. And therefore that allows you to essentially do that soft proofing process. So we've got a chart that's already been printed out here. We've gone for one of the easy ones. Software's running, so we're just going to click on the uh, Profile Your Printer option here in the this, in this software and click through. We've, we've popped in a name already, so we're, we're ready with a name to, uh, to uh, use in there. Most importantly, put a date in type of stock, i.e. paper, types of ink are, are useful as well. And then, OK, we'll print and measure a target. So we'll, we've already done that, actually, in this case, but we're going to measure the target that we've actually printed. So we're going to use this easy, high-quality <coughs> high target. I'm going to start off by just centering a white point on here. So we're just going to click on white point. Already given it a name for this particular profile, so that's the name that you're going to be using to describe this combination of stock. And we'll just save that. Okay, so we'll save it with a different name because it's already seen that I've used that name before. And we're going to open up the patch and uh, read those patches. We've got a tutorial in here, but we can ignore that, we'll skip that. So we're going to go straight into measuring it. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is we're taking out the several thousand pounds it can cost for you to be using a, um, an automated uh, type of device such that, uh, okay, we could be using an automated flatbed to move our paper around, but, but hey, actually, that, that's great, but if it costs you a thousand pounds or a few thousand pounds more, I'd rather use the nice guide that comes with the device here and save myself some money. So I'm just going to pop that on the first line of our guide, pop our device straight on there, ready to read, and click the button and then move that across the screen and you can see it's reading, you can hear it's reading those patches. Great, first line's done. We now can just move that down and just carry on that process. And that builds up a profile as we go. So really that, that's essentially it. I won't bore you with running through all of those different patches, but essentially you're running the same process for the number of pages that you've got of this guy. That's it really. Once we've done that, we'll click out of here and show you how we can actually use those profiles. So once we've created our profile, we've saved it, that goes straight into our, our applications and uh, basically you can access them through things like Lightroom or Photoshop. And that gives us a, a, um, an output soft proofing environment. So this is the soft proofing side of things here. This is Lightroom. In the develop module, which is the second tab across on Lightroom, you see down the bottom, you'll get a, a button marked soft proofing. So just highlight that for you. And basically, if we click on that, that allows us to show the output profiles for any printer. So that means, OK, great, I've got the opportunity here to see how that's going to be coming out on that particular print device. So if I click on that, what you're going to see straight away is actually how it would come out on my home photocopy or fax machine. Not a great colour printer, but great from a demonstration point of view for you to be able to see a before and after. In fact, if we drop a Y key here, you can see the before and after, how you want it to look on the left-hand side and how it's going to look if it's printed out on that particular device on the right-hand side of the screen there. And what that means is, okay, I've now seen the end product and I can actually try and fix that. So I can go into my develop tools here and I can adjust contrast, I can adjust exposure, I can adjust colors to bump up that image to get it as good as possible on the right-hand side. Now I know with that particular printer, no slight on the manufacturer there, actually it's not a particularly good colour printer, so we're really going to struggle to actually get 
in decent output. So if I choose uh, a different device here, you can see where we can actually pick up different types of output prof profiles. So I'll pick up on that Epson printer. You can see that Epson one is much nearer to the original starting colours, and that's going to need just a little bit of a tweak, perhaps uh, increasing the exposure just slightly, perhaps to just bump that up a bit, and uh, away we go. We can make a proof copy of that within Lightroom, and that's the way we can work on it within Lightroom. You'd actually produce a new copy of that uh, image and basically be able to uh, send that off to the printer and know how it's going to come out. Just as a quick show within Photoshop, for instance, we've also got the opportunity to do the same sort of thing here under the View menu, so we can actually choose different types of proof setup. So therefore, I've got uh, currently a custom view. In fact, it's not turned on at the moment, but there's that same uh, plain paper printer there. If I click on OK, that's going to soft proof that. Or we can toggle between that using the uh, Command Y key to see the before and after of that profile so we can actually see how that's going to come out and adjust it accordingly. So there we are finishing with that soft proof on that same type of printer there and being able to change things accordingly to address that. So that's it. That gives you that idea of how you can actually proof. The important thing is to make sure that you've got that capability of being able to soft proof and being able to see exactly how that's going to come out. Do that